Today we're going to talk about Fat Cat Secrets, how to set up your LLC. Some of the things that you need to do before you fill out your paperwork. We'll be dealing with what you need to set up, what you need to put into play before you file your papers. I get a lot of people who will ask me, hey Glendon, what if I do this? And you're, you're asking good questions that should come, well actually you're not asking good questions, you're asking questions that reveal to me that you haven't done your homework. You're looking for a quick and immediate solution to a very complex problem. Take your time, plan and research for your long-term LLC. Your Hustler LLC, you can start that pretty quickly. This would be for eBay, this would be for Craigslist, this would be for whatever short-term hustle that you have going on, but your long-term LLC, which should be holding company structure and an operating company, um, that's going to take some time to put together. And I'm not talking about a week or two, I'm talking about to really make your LLC successful, to make your business successful, you got to put in the time and you got to put in the research. And we have so many people who are just like trying to do a hustler LLC and apply this to your long-term business model. And that's just not going to work. It's not going to work. If this is your first time here, this is Glendon Cameron, your hustling godfather. I have a free gift from you since I am the godfather. Go below and get your free books on how to hustle. Now, don't just download the free books, actually open them, study them, and more importantly, apply the information to your life. I know there are many of you out there, an extra 300 to 1,000 a month is life-changing. I get that, and I understand that you cannot afford my upper-level courses. I totally get that, but starting with this information this is the information that I started my business with. This is the things that I did. I was a merchant for 10 years, you know, where I had a warehouse. Well, actually, I had two storefronts, a warehouse, and then we willed it down to the warehouse. But I actually did the things that are in those books to make money. Do it. Get yourself in the position where you can afford the courses because at the end of the day, if you make a thousand bucks a month extra on top of what you make and you manage your money correctly, check out the last video where I talk about the four, the five checking accounts and you put all this stuff together, your life is going to get better. Your money habits are going to get better. You're going to begin to begin on the path of becoming rich which you need to become rich before you become wealthy it's like trying to bench 300 pounds before you can bench 150 you must take it in a sequential order all right so let's get into this wonderful bean footage first step you need to do you, you and this is going to sound very contrary uh contrary to what many financial professionals will tell you. They'll just tell you what you want to hear to get your money. You need to sit down and develop a life plan first. Where do you want to live? How do you want to live? Do you like the water? Do you want to live on the beach? Are you a city person? Do you want to live in a condo? What do you really want to do? And I understand some of you don't have a clue because no one's ever said sit down and decide what type of life that you want to have it's very possible i i'm a, I'm a prime example of it and let's say you kind of have some notion i'll give you an example for a minute i wanted to i got very seduced by the condo high-rise lifestyle checked into a nice hotel 23rd floor was able to look all over the city and it's like I want this I like this I like how this looks I like how this feels I like how it tastes right and typically I know me and what I mean is I can get very gassed up on something very quickly and then that's me in the romantic phase so I say okay gee you know yourself what you're gonna do is rent a high-rise condo 
in an Airbnb. So I rent it. First few days, it was wonderful. Okay, okay. Then I started to notice all of the bad stuff, like 12 minutes to get to my car. Um, if I had a dog, I would have to have some type of situation for that. And it knocked off the shine of wanting that situation permanently. Because I was getting ready to get a high-rise condo. I was, and I was like, you know what? So I rented an Airbnb four more times. Because the first time it's like, you know, kind of like a date. Then by the fourth time, I was like, I was tired of it. I was like, this is not really what I want. It's what I thought that I wanted, but it's really not what I wanted. So I adjusted my expectations accordingly. And every now and then when I get that itch, I'll rent an Airbnb, get it out of my system, because it's not a long-term want. And figuring out what kind of life you want you got to do this stuff it's going to take time because there are many of you out there who have these wonderful romantic v visions of the type of life you want where you want to live what kind of car you want and you have not experienced it so you could get it and in short order realize you didn't really want that so I just gave you a developmental process to figure out what type of life you want to live. I recently went out to California. Once again, man, it's cool out here. I love the weather. And I went through the process. So I'm going to rent an Airbnb. Nice place. Feel it out. Near, be near the beach. Because you got to do your homework before you commit. And many of you are committing to trash dreams without doing no homework. And then when you get these dreams... You're kind of like, yeah, it looks good. It's kind of like the guy that is dating a trash chick that happens to be hot. When they're out in public, she looks great. Um, she's good on your arm. She speaks well. But personally, she's a savage. She's sloppy. She's nasty. She can't show up on time. There's just so many things that's wrong. So essentially, you're trading 90% of your happiness for that 10% visual representation and this is how people build companies and become dope addicts and become crack addicts and commit suicide because yeah they're building this stuff but it may not jive with what they want in their heart and then they got all of this stuff from the outside looking in like man your life's amazing you should be happy you should be grateful when they're miserable inside because they built a business that's like a job they hate you, my good people, have the ability to build a business that you love. So this is where you're going to have to put on your, your big boy pants, your big girl pants, and put your stake in the ground and say, this is what I want to do, and not really care about what anyone else thinks. I'll give you a great example of this. I love what I do here on Every Man is a Millionaire, and I really love what I do on Disruptive Mail. I'm in a group... And I was trying to be helpful. This happened today. And I posted what I made from Disruptive Mail this year in six months, which is like 15 grand. Not a big deal, right? So I thought, and in the group, you're not supposed to self-promote. So I hid all of the information to the channels. Well, these fools go ahead and they start poking around. And this trick, like, he sells pornography. No, I don't. I don't sell pornography. And she went on and on and on and on and on. And I'm just sitting here like, so I just, I flex and stun it. I said, look, you know, and then people accuse me of bragging. Once again, 15 grand in six months. Accuse me of bragging. So this should tell you how much money they're not making. So I went ahead and stun it screenshot what I made on this channel. Then I, you know, almost put some uh, checks from consulting clients in there. Many people are not living well. Many people aren't. And I was trying to be helpful because none of those people in that group are part of my demographic. So part of this notion of setting up businesses is many of you are trying to set up a business and trying to be helpful to people who will not respect you. I put up a post uh, on Facebook. It's like, it's funny how many people want to be respected while they're being disrespectful. 
she was insulting she mischaracterized my business and she said some stuff because she just took a cursory glance and went oh this is what it is i'm gonna go off part of building a business that you love is not thinking caring what people think because this channel that this chick thought was pornographic i've got at this point a few hundred testimonials of people was like man this channel's changed my life this channel's helpful but if i was to be a weak-minded person and go off of what a few people have said the channel wouldn't be what it is and this is creating a business that you love that fulfills you because this is just one clown over here in the peanut gallery who's jelly because i made 15k in six months when I put the screenshots of what I made per year, uh, it, it became this whole thing. And I was like, look, if I was going to brag, this is what I would have put up. This was trying to be helpful. And you got to understand when you become a business owner, long term business owner, you're going to have many challenges. You're going to have many ups and downs because of people who have not gone out and got their dreams done. You're going to have these experiences because you're dealing with people who are less than not because you've made it that way it's because they refuse to put a stick in the ground and say this is what i'm going to do this is the key making that decision to create a business that you love that fulfills you that makes you happy this is the way you don't become rich and then become a crackhead because you're so unhappy so this is why you must get into the research phase for your long-term LLC and once again I have videos and matter of fact this will be part of a playlist just go through the playlist and I think the next thing is going to be how to set up an operating company and just go through the playlist about five or six times and you'll get it because what's the use of having money if you're not happy that makes no sense and there are a million and one ways for you to make money you may have the talent to make these killer surfboards and create a multi-million dollar company per year have your company set up near a beach so you can test your surfboards and surf every day these are choices and decisions they're not luck you didn't luck into uh, like you know many people said uh, someone tried to throw shade on me and I was like this you know cuz my success with my first book and I was like was it luck that I created a business and ran it successfully for 10 years and I asked this person this and he said no I was like alright so how's it luck that I made money because you couldn't I wouldn't have had the experience and the knowledge to write the book unless I did that and he, he actually said like, okay you, you've made a very good point I was just like wow I thought this was gonna be a hater fest but part of the reason that so many people hate and also let me just tell you you're going to be hated because you're happy and successful. You're going to be hated. Let's just get your, and I'm going to tell you, it's worth it. Don't worry about it. There are some of you that will not do what you need to do in your life because you're worried about what other people think. Forget Sam from the peanut gallery. Forget Shaggy ZZ with the, the Slee Stack avatar. These are, these are what I call nameless and faceless cowards nameless and faceless cowards they're demo people because they don't know how to build their business they don't know how to be happy they don't know how to structure anything so what they're going to do is try to insult you because you made a choice my good person you you made a decision to live life on your terms and this is how you set up properly an llc because you do all of this back work research experimentation so you know that what you're working on is it fulfills your heart it makes you happy like I don't know how many y'all saw the game last night with Alabama beat Georgia and Jalen Hurts came out and was the man this guy went through all kinds of stuff people said he should transfer but they didn't understand the backstory Nick Saban went out and hired a quarterback coach exclusively for him. I want you to think about this. 
they spent 500 to a million bucks to get a coach for him. And last night, it showed up. That was a different cat throwing that ball last night. He was throwing that rock like a pro. So from the outside, Jalen, you should leave. Jalen, you should, you should do this. You should do this. They made a huge financial investment in Jalen when he was sitting on the bench most of the season. This is the kind of stuff that you don't hear about when people from the peanut gallery are saying you should do this. And I don't think Jalen's going to transfer. I don't think so because what he did last night, his NFL stock quadrupled. You ain't really played. You come out. You ball out for your team. I mean, yo, just check out the story, man, and what he went through. But look at what the commitment that Nick Saban made to him. He said, look, you ain't going to play, but I'm going to get you a quarterback coach, and I'm going to make you better to fill in those deficiencies because you are one hell of a player. And Nick Saban kept his deal. And Jalen kept his deal. And this is the how remarkable things happen, but they don't happen fast and this is why many of you are upset and depressed because you're expecting something that's going to take three to five years to happen in a few months but if you take the time number one get your hustlers llc then also get your you know get your holding company first get your hustlers llc then get you another company that can be your long-term business model so what we're doing is kind of like five dimension chess um, give you another example and be sure to go check out the speed dating video at disruptive mail. Many people don't press themselves. They don't push themselves. So, um, I'm not going to get into it. You can watch the video, but because I made just a little tweak, the results were exponential and you can do these things too by actually digging into yourself, working on yourself, making better decisions, and then practicing delayed gratification. This will be one of your best decisions in life, that if you can do this. All right, so this is the prep work. This is what you should do. You should have your holding company. You should have your Hustlers LLC. And over here, you should have your long-term business model and i was looking at one of the one of the houses that i passed i couldn't see i looked it up and it was just a gate there's a brother that lives there uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna probably post the information and this brother has five businesses five and lives in a five million dollar house in an estate oh well, excuse me five million dollar mansion on an estate with a long driveway once again uh, there are some people who are seeing this and they're like, one guy's like, oh, I know a judge. Judges, unless they got that long money and they come from a wealthy family, they ain't living over there. Judges don't make that kind of loot. So what I'm trying to do is break the misconceptions and give you the truth so you can make better decisions. All right. So this looks to be going very well. I have to be careful. All right, let's see what we got going on here. What's up, King Nick, Excalibur, Anthony Wright, Lucid Dreener, Raining Woman, The Aloha, uh, Life for a Business by the Course. Once again, this one answer to one question is not going to help you. You need the whole process to make better decisions. What's up, Pamela Turner? What's up, Jigga 1017? <laughs> What's up, Comfort Zone Studios? What's up, Ron Fisher? Uh, Anthony Wright, and let's talk about this. The key to wholesaling, and you know, you gotta look at like a hundred houses. You got to treat it like a full-time job because everyone that I know in real estate that's working real estate that way, they work a lot. 
Dirty Dirty DFW. What's up? All right. Let's see. What's up, Edward Anderson? I mean, seriously, man. No, I actually shut that down. I know, Edward. What's up, Paul Turner? Oh, I actually, haters are like success vitamins to me. Oh, Edward, you saw that post? Yeah, I was just like, that was just like, where did this come from? These <laughs> Thank you, Beyond the Turn. Anthony Wright has a system, I, I guarantee you. Uh, Zoss, remember the law of attraction, money is just energy, you want it to think positive, go make it happen. Pretty much, pretty much. Camilla, that's how you know you're right. Track what wouldn't you have haters? Oh man, they've been coming out the woodwork. All right, Ganja. Charlton, um, let's talk about this. Um, because of the law that you cannot sell any financial, you cannot use text notification for any financial or sexual or some something that's sexual, even though the stuff isn't sexual. It presents like this, so I have a problem with creating a another. It's like this this stream right here, where I'm talking about um, doing the work for your host for your LLC. This would be constituted as financial, and they don't, you can't do it. So uh, we're gonna have to work on the email list because this is crazy. Paula, <laughs> yeah, that was a great game. Jalen showed out. Mary Louise Gaines, do what's in your heart and ignore the dream snatchers. I found that others do not want to put in the work and research and build in the business. Absolutely. And that's what makes you successful because I put up here and I did a case study of Into the Gloss and Glossier, right? And... People like, okay, I don't want to look at that. I don't want, I mean, it's a template of what you can do. But the thing that people don't want to understand is Emily Weiss worked on her blog for three years with no money. No money coming in for three years. And they were like, whoa, that's too long. But see, here's the thing. If you're 20 some and you're 30 some, you have your hustle over here. You have your long-term business model over here. Because the thing is, you got to do both. It's not just enough to do one thing anymore because the competition is just too intense. But 10 years of your life in the right direction can make you a multimillionaire. And this is why I really press on you young guys who are in your 17, 18, 20. Do that now. So when you're still 30 some, you're a millionaire, you got assets, you got property, you're good. What's up, Derek? I know, Camilla. Consistency is important. What's up? Let's see. What's up, everybody? Mary Lou's game, yes, I just get mad because you don't want to be a 9-5 o'clocker and you invest time and money and sacrifice to manifest your business into reality as a solid foundation. Pretty much, haters going to hate. Uh, 
Paula Turner, what's your take on Reese on, on the recession that's coming and will it affect real estate? Number one, the recession is already here and it's already impacted real estate. Real estate across the board is depressed and pricing is down. I've been in this house, I think three months and every house, 80% of the houses that I looked at are still on the market or, and 90, let's see. Yeah, about 80, 80, 85% of the houses still in the market and many of them have reduced prices and a lot of them have become rentals. What's up, Mentor Sherry? Uh, Darren Walker used the Google machine. You can start a company in any state, any city. You know, once again, it's not where you set it up. It's how you set it up and how much energy you invest into your hustle and into your business. That's going to be the difference because this cat that um with the million dollar house he's got businesses here in florida he got businesses everywhere <laughs> everywhere anderson <laughs> it's because you a black man winning that's why uh that was very strange in the group because i i really hid my stuff but they but i want to say this and Part of what happened to me my first three years here on YouTube, a lot of that stuff started to happen, and I will admit it, it was because I was black. So my definition, my, my purpose, my mission became to beat them. And not only did I beat them, I'm one of the few people who's still doing videos from that era. They've all quit or their channels are garbage. See, I don't say that I'm superior I show that I'm superior and that does tend to rankle a lot of feathers. What's up, Johnny Walton? The official Sean Jones. I like that name. And you show your picture. Here's something else too. Typically most people who are haters are, um, demo people on YouTube, they have some weird screen name and they never show their face. That's a sign of low self-esteem. So the official Sean Jones, he got this boss name and he's got his real picture there. That tells me a lot about the official Sean Jones. Uh, I'm 24 and have built one e-com store making 50k a year. The goal is to build four more and run them full time by the time I'm 30. Dude, you're going to be doing that. You keep on. And also, let's talk about this. We've talked about how much money people make in this country. He makes more money than 60% of the people in the country at 24. And you keep doing what you're doing. And you get your four, you know, because one, you have goals. And you're making 200 k by the time you're 30. That's boss land. And it's, you know, this is the thing. Uh, the official Sean Jones, you've already made the 50 doing e -com, so you know you can do 200K. Because if you could do 50K, you could do 200K. And if you could do 200K, you could do 500K. And if you could do 500K, you could do 750K. And if you could do 750, you can do a million. Mentally, the biggest threshold is believing in yourself to the point to take action. And since you've already seen that this is real, you can take a lot of action. So congratulations. Since the reality competition is fierce, people labor will become cheap. Oh, very cheap. Uh, yeah, real estate slowing down across the country, man. Edward. Uh, Anthony, preach it, big brother. Recession that started. When the rich start holding cash, you know hard times are coming. <laughs> this is what I'm thinking. Uh, I'm probably going to get my first property six or eight months from now because I think, and this is timing because typically the real estate market is usually on fire during the summer. So I may skip the summer and go in in the fall just to see because prices across the board are falling. And houses are sitting on the market and builders are doing crazy stuff to move new product.
Cool Breeze, he, he will, he will. Are there ones? Yeah, I believe the cycle is coming to, to buy is because you buy when it's low and you sell when it's high. And we're about to go for, I believe, the next two to three years, a low cycle. And you stack up because I actually saw this happen. 2011, there was a house in my neighborhood. Good house, a four bedroom, two car garage, sitting on an acre. That sucker was $250,000. I checked it recently. That house is six hundred thousand, and well, actually, I checked it three years after it sold, and the house was like five fifty, and now it's like six hundred thousand. Buy when it's low, and this is why you got to have your credit straight, and this is why you got to have money. Jigga uh, Muhammad had a stroke, man. He's recovering. I know, Edward, a lot of people believe the internet's just for cat pictures and funny memes. Uh, let's see. Edward, I, I know a dude that's been doing consultations for free, and the info he has is fire. I was like, my dude. <laughs> <laughs> see, a lot of people get on that help thing, man. All right, I thank you, the official Sean Jones. I appreciate that. You've been listening to me for six years, which means he started at 18. That's the juice. If you could start at 18, all of the setbacks and failures, you will get so good and so strong by the time you're 22. Once again, congratulations, man. Sure thing, Edwards. <laughs> Sachi, the top investment banks is just their clients holding on the cash. Yeah, man. I mean, we're here. All right, let me show that. All right. There's a lot of stuff that is going on around the world in terms of uh, setting these things up because one of the things that the internet helped me do is create an international business now most of the product that i sell now is domestic but there were various phases where i had clients literally around the world and without the internet and without youtube that wouldn't have been possible so it gave me a global perspective and you can start a business sell the product to anyone any place anytime and there are many folks who still don't believe in the internet. They don't know how it works. So there's a lot of opportunity out here for folks who are willing to do the work. I know, I mean, once again, a lot of, and Edward, I'm gonna read this. Um, when then he did 300 consultations and these people are begging him for the info. Even though, even needing to say what it was. The point is the people are constantly asking you clearly you have something. Absolutely. Now, I don't know this individual, but there are many people who have a problem with success. They don't want, because success inherently means more responsibility. And a lot of people just want to do what they want to do. And I don't know this dude, so I can't say if that's his thing, but it sounds like his thing because the people who don't have money will hate on you so hard that many people who have good information will not charge for it because they don't want to be talked about. I'm serious. This is a thing <laughs> in the internet community. Oh man, Anthony, I really appreciate you. Um, we're at the point where this channel is nine years old and there's a lot of guys who bought into the concepts years ago who are now beginning to be in a position to show receipts. And this is the thing. And this should tell you that you need to get started as soon as you can because the reality is 
I believe anyone can become a millionaire. But you're looking at six years if you're exceptional. And you're looking at 20 years if you're average. What's going to happen is before you get to millionaire status, you're going to have a very high income. You're going to have an income so high that you can live off a part of it, take most of the income and put it back in the business and grow it faster. But the timelines, this is what's got people twisted, the timelines. People are like, man, that's too long. Sally Mae Jones used to tell me, if you live long enough, you're going to become old. And if you look at the stats, many people are living to be 84. Uh, former President George Bush, he was 94 when he died the other day. What's going to happen is wealthier people are going to have exceptionally long lifestyles, uh, lifespans. We're going to see people reach 110, 115, and 120, and they're going to be in good health at maybe 110 before they start falling apart. This is what I'm seeing. And because in my neighborhood, these people have means. This one lady, she was walking, and I was looking at her, and I just said, you know, because I'm a pastor, and I said, I know it's a strange, strange question, but how old are you? She says, I'm 84, and just smiled, because she didn't look like she was 84, and she was zooming. She looked to be 50-something, 50 50-something 50 late 40s because she had resources to get proper food, proper exercises. Uh, do something, uh, do a search wherever you are on houses that are maybe 500 to a million bucks, and you'll see that every house has an exercise room. Every house, every house I looked at had an exercise room. Because the stats are lifting weights, working out, you live longer. And people with money want to live longer. Everyone should everyone want to live longer. I know uh Sash Sauchin. Also only a small percentage of people would execute on sound knowledge. Pretty much. Thanks for the $5 super chat, Erica. Success does mean more responsibility. Facts is it takes two to five years for real. People will fight you. <laughs> I, once again, Erica, this is why I'm telling the people the right information because if you adjust your timelines and go like, okay, this is my first year in business and you ain't balling out, that's normal. Very few people ball out before the seven-year mark. And these are usually exceptional, and then average people 10, 15, 20 years. But here is the thing. You get there. You get there. When you uh, just once you start making 200 k a year, you are making more money than 98 percent people in the country. I think 170. That's more money than 99% of the people in this country make. And at that point, with the five checking accounts, a budget, you have enough economic firepower, extra bullets to aim into a wealth channel to get rich. And then once you get rich, then you can become wealthy. Uh, the official Sean Jones, you made me realize that the internet businesses are real that operate on internet, not make police. There's a lot of people who think this stuff is fantasy. Uh, <laughs> you going to the gym tomorrow? That's wild. That is wild. Okay, so below is the specials. Go ahead and get them. Be sure to get your free books. Use them. And if you want to be part of H Undergrad, get H Undergrad Redux. It will include the art of holding, but at the end. Because I realize that this is just too much for folks who don't already have a business. <laughs> Amazon is a damn internet business. 
And Netflix. I know, man. But people are coming along. People are coming along. All right. So, once again, those are the specials that are below the video. And I will see you guys later.